Evening, the Cape Spring High School renovation has reached its first major milestone. The demolition phase is finally complete. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett took a tour of the facility today and joins us live in studio. And Lindsay, this is a project that has seen its fair share of setbacks. That's right. After weather delays and a number of setbacks, as, as you said, construction at Cave Spring High School is finally in full swing. Steel, slabs of concrete, and writing on the walls. All that's left of Cave Spring High School. Is this exciting or what? Wednesday, school officials showed off the renovation progress since breaking ground on the $43 million project this past winter. Roanoke County School Board member Mike Ray is a Cave Spring grad. I mean, we were cramped back then. The building hadn't changed much since he walked the halls, so he says it was about time for an upgrade. It's just amazing what's going on. And it certainly was due. Crews are renovating nearly every square foot of the building from classrooms to the cafeteria to the locker rooms. It really will make a difference in what we had before. Absolutely. By creating one long main hallway instead of the old hexagon shape. It was disorienting. It's very hard to figure out where you were in the building. So trying to, to clean that up. New additions include a wood shop, coffee shop, and outdoor space. Opportunities for students to gather instead of just hallways and doors into classrooms. The gym and auditorium will only see minor upgrades. As with any major renovation, it comes with obstacles. The, the phasing and the orchestration of where the construction area is, the laydown area, where the, the mobile classrooms are set up, all of that is it's always a challenge. Although most of the building will feel new, the renovation will reflect the school's history for generations of alumni to come, even seniors who won't get to graduate in the new building. You're graduating from Cave Spring High School. You'll always be a knight, and that's what Construction crews are still on track to finish by the summer of 2020, so students can start the fall semester in the new building. Live in the studio, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.